Welcome to the SolidCam Professor video series called Jumpstart, the easy way to get started with SolidCam. In this video, we will be going through part 5 of our first lesson, where we will add a drilling operation to our CAM part, run through our workflow in the operation dialog, and simulate our toolpath. We will also generate G-code for our completed CAM project in preparation for machining our part. Here we have our CAM part with face milling profile and pocket operations. Next we will move on to drilling the holes through the face of our part. From the Solid Cam Manager, right click operations, add milling operation, and select drilling. The workflow in setting up a drilling operation is very similar to our previous operations. We will start by defining our geometry. When defining geometry in a drilling operation, SolidCam can automatically pick up the centers of all circle entities on the top face. Under Select Centers By in the Drill Geometry Selection dialog on the left, I'll use the default multi-positions and simply click on the top face of our model in the SolidWorks graphics area. We can see that SolidCam has found all four of our holes. Also, if we scroll to the bottom of our dialog, we can see the four selected holes along with their respective X and Y coordinates. We can now accept our geometry by clicking OK. Next, we'll define our tool. I'll click on the tool branch, then the select button to bring up the tool table. I'll select the add milling tool button and choose drill under the drilling tools list. The diameter of our holes are five millimeters. So I'll only change the diameter field to five and click Select to accept our tool definition and exit the tool table. Next on the tree are Levels. Our levels will be chosen in the same manner as our previous operations. Let's click on Upper Level and select the top face of our model in the SolidWorks graphics area, which represents where our tool will start machining. Then click OK to accept. Then select Drill Depth and pick the bottom face of our model that represents where our tool will machine to. Then click OK to accept the selection. When drilling, it is important to note our depth type options under our milling levels. If we leave the radio button set on cutter tip, the tip of our drill will come down to our 10 mm depth. If we choose full diameter, SolidCam will assure our 5 mm hole diameter is maintained at our 10 mm depth. We will be using full diameter for this example. Last but not least, Let's move on to our technology branch. Clicking on drill cycle type will allow us to select what type of drill cycle we would like to use. We have quite a few options here such as drilling, pecking, boring, and tapping. For this example, we will use our standard drilling method G81. Now I'll click save and calculate to add this drilling operation to the cam tree and calculate the toolpath. Then Let's close the operation dialog by selecting Exit. Now, our CAM part has been fully programmed using SolidCAM. Let's simulate our toolpath for our entire CAM project before we generate G-code. Right-click on our Operations folder in our CAM Manager and select Simulate. When our simulation dialog appears, we will use Solid Verify. Slow the simulation speed down using the slider. If we press the play button at this point, we will run through the entire simulation without stopping. As each operation is simulated, we can follow along in the CAM Manager as it highlights each current operation. Now, if we want to single out an operation, we can just highlight it in the CAM Manager and press play. Note that it starts the simulation from the beginning of that particular operation. Also note that the part model was automatically updated according to the selected operation, and every operation shown up to that point is a single color. We can also pause in the middle of one operation and then play a newly selected operation after highlighting it in the CAM Manager. We also have a button in our simulation control panel called Stop on Next. It allows us control over where we would like our simulation to pause during playback. So for example, let's put a check mark in our tool change option. Let's also highlight the operations folder in our CAM manager so we are once again running through our simulation in its entirety. When we click play now, we notice it will begin playing through the simulation and pause after the first operation. 
This is because our profile operation switches to Tool 2. Press play again, and watch the simulation play through our second and third operations, then pause. This is because our profile and pocket operations both use the same tool, Tool 2. Our drilling operation will then change to Tool 3. Let's click play one more time to finish running through our simulation. Also, take notice that each toolpath is represented visually by a specific color on our part. We can choose any color we would like for our toolpaths during simulation. Simply click on the Color by Tool button. A new window appears and has our tools listed as T1, T2, and T3 with their respective colors. Note that your preferred colors can also be set in the toolpath simulation area of our SolidCam settings. Let's click OK to close the dialog. Let's switch over to the HostCAD tab in our simulation dialog. Here, we can look at the wireframe toolpath being displayed on our part. First, let's deselect the Show Tool checkbox so only the toolpath is shown. Then, press the Play button. The toolpath looks great. Now that our operations are complete and we're satisfied with our toolpath, let's generate G-code in preparation for machining our part. To output G-code for our entire project, right-click on the Operations folder in our CAM Manager, highlight G-code All, and select Generate. Our G-code is generated based on the parameters of our CNC controller chosen when we first created our CAM part definition. The generated G-code for a 3-axis HAS opens in Notepad for us to view before it goes out to the machine. It's that easy to cam apart and generate G-code with SolidCam. Also note, the G-code file name automatically defaults to our cam part name, Simple Cover 1. Let's close the Notepad file. If we want to generate G-code for a specific operation, we can simply right-click on the operation in our cam tree, highlight G-code, and select Generate. Since we only selected one operation, we are prompted to give our G-code a file name in case we want to save it. Let's just call it SC1 for this example. As we can see, our generated G-code opens again in Notepad, although this time, it's only for the selected operation. We also have the option to enter a split in our program in the instance that we're working with multiple setups before we output G-code. For example, let's say we would like our last operation to come out as separate G-code. We can right-click on our pocket operation and select Split. As we can see in our CAM Manager, a split has been inserted after our pocket operation. Now, when we right-click Operations G-Code All Generate, we get two separate G-Code files. In this case, Simple Cover 1 handles our first three operations, and Simple Cover 1 1 handles our last and final operation. Also, we are not limited to just one split. We can insert multiple splits in our CAM tree and generate multiple G code files as necessary. And this concludes our final video, Part 5 of Lesson 1 in the Solid Cam Jumpstart series, where we've added a drilling operation to our CAM part simulated our toolpath, and generated G-code. Thank you for joining us on this SolidCam Professor video series called Jumpstart. For more great SolidCam Professor videos, visit the Professor tab at www.solidcam.com.